Hey there, everyone. The topic of the week is meetings. The topic of the day is owning your meetings. I'll talk about more specifically what I mean by that in a moment. But just think about for you, what would it mean to own, to take extreme ownership of every single meeting that you go to? Like start specific, like start with your one-on-ones, your one-on-one -on -one meetings with your team members. What would it really mean for you to take ownership of delivering the outcomes you want to help deliver for those one-on-ones with your team? What would that look like? What would that feel like? How would you show up to that one-on-one? -on -one? And then what about your staff meetings? What would it mean to own, to take extreme ownership, to say, here's the outcome, folks. Go team, go. This And this is how you're going to feel. This is how you're going to behave. This is the attitude that you're going to have. These are the qualities that you're going to embrace during that meeting. And these are the actions you're going to take. These are the questions you're going to ask. This is how you're going to go with the flow, even though like things might get off track and people might be, be blabbing away and yet we got to get going. We got to move forward or maybe nobody's saying anything. And how do you get them talking? How do you deal with that uncertainty? What does it mean to own your meetings? And what would it mean to own meetings that are not your meetings? So a meeting that somebody else is calling, some, a meeting that somebody else is ostensibly leading. Like maybe it's your boss's meeting, maybe she or he called it, maybe it's a project manager meeting, maybe it's somebody from sales or marketing or HR, maybe it's your CEO's meeting. Hey, everybody, come, come to this meeting. So it's not your meeting, you didn't call it, but you're there. You're sitting in that chair or wherever it is that you are. If it's a stand up, you're standing on that ground. It's still your meeting. What would it look like to own those meetings too? Even though you're not leading it, even though you're not the one that originally said, hey, we need to have a meeting, what would you do? How would you show up? What questions would you ask? so that you can help everybody to reach the outcome that you want to get to. What would it really look like to own all of your meetings? Start with the question of, do you own every single one of the meetings that you go to even when they're not, even when they're not your own? And it really means taking a look at how are you showing up? And you could break it down meeting by meeting, right? You could start with your one-on-ones because those are meetings that, are, that I know most of you do already. And if you don't do it already, you're gonna start doing them after you watch this video because this is a great reminder that if you're not having regular one-on-one -on -one meetings with your team, game over. You're like, how are you supposed to know what's going on with them if you don't have one-on-ones with them? Like it's your job as the leader to meet with them one-on-one. -on -one. And a lot of times people say, oh, I have the staff meetings and some people just don't speak up. Like it's their job to speak up. Here's the thing. I know we're talking about owning meetings and all of that, but here's the thing. There is a power differential, whether you realize it or not and whether you wanna make anything out of it about, about it or not, there is a power differential between you and your team members. They look up to you, they respect you. And so a lot of times, whether it's personality or consequence or personality or situation or because of, 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 of fear of consequences or whatever it is, some people will not speak up during staff meetings. That's just the, the way that it is. And you work with them to get them to speak up more. But even for the people who do speak up during staff meetings and group meetings, you are going to be, uh, you're going to be able to really enter their world and truly understand them to their bones so much more 
in a one-on-one -on -one kind of a situation because you're going to have space to stretch out, time to stretch out. You have that, there's that blanket of rapport. That's our, there's that blanket of trust that's covering the two of you when it's just the two of you versus sharing something in a group atmosphere because they're going to share some stuff with you that doesn't come up in a group atmosphere. So start with your one-on-ones. How am I showing up there and being honest with yourself? How can I do better? And then go to all of the other kinds of meetings that you run, that you call, whether it's your staff meetings, your daily stand-ups, your meetings with your boss. People call this managing up. How are you managing your boss? How are your one-on-ones with your boss? Are you owning them? Or are you just kind of letting him or her guide you and you're, you're not really getting to where you want to go? Like maybe you want to talk about the fact that it's maybe it's time to talk about a promotion, right? I talk about this all the time, right? Are you going to bring that up, <laughs> right? Like, hey boss, I've been adding a lot of value over the last three, five, 10 years. What would it take for me to earn a promotion? I'd love to have start that conversation. That's owning a meeting. That's a specific example of owning a meeting, particularly with your boss. Like take a look at those meetings and all the other meetings that you run and then take a look at one by one all of the other meetings that you're on your, on your schedule right now. When you go to those meetings, are you like, all right, cool. What's the outcome? Let's go there. Let's ask questions. Hey guys, let's do this. Is that how you're showing up? Or are you like, yeah, another meeting. Oh, hang on. Where's my phone? I don't have my phone. I got, I got to go get my phone. Hang on, but whatever. Okay. All right. I got my phone. Okay. What? Is that how you're showing up? If it is, you are a waste of space. Plain and simple, you're a waste of space if that's how you're showing up to that meeting. If you don't believe that your time, that, that being in that meeting is, is a valuable use of your time, guess what? Don't go. You don't have to go. Because chances are, if you're thinking that, other people are thinking that too. Call it out with empathy, with compassion, but call it out. Hang on a second. We've been talking for five minutes now, but we haven't even covered, like, what's the outcome of this meeting? Hey, Mary, hey, Bob, hey, whoever, who's supposed to be running this meeting, can you remind me what's, what's, what's the outcome? What's the desired outcome for this meeting, please? And if they can't answer the question, there's really no reason for y'all to be there. Really no reason for it. Hold other people accountable. Like, don't be an asshole about it. Don't be a bitch about it. But like, hold other people accountable. Because your time is precious. So are you really owning your meetings? Uh, every single one of them. Take a hard look at it. And so I encourage you to, to do a detailed analysis of that. Start with, what would it look like to really own my meetings? Specifically. And not just like, what you would do and how you would structure them. That's where a lot of people kind of go to, like the, the structure around it and we get up all in our heads about it. But also like, how would you show up? How would you feel? Which version of you is showing up to that meeting? The one where you're like rushed and stressed, and overwhelmed and, and mad and worried, and full of anxiety, is that the one that's gonna show up to the meetings? Tired or is the one that's gonna show up to those meetings the one that is the world-class leader? Is the one that's gonna show up to those meetings the one that is pumped and motivated even though you're feeling tired? You choose to show up committed. You choose to show up pumped and excited and with love and compassion and empathy for the, whoever else is at that meeting. Is that the one who shows up to them? And so here's the thing, folks. If you want to really harness the power of all of the meetings that you're having, you gotta start making these shifts. And the, and the reality is, it's hard to do on your own. 
That's why a lot of you are still struggling after years and years and years of trying to make meetings work and thus make your career work. For, so for those of you who are able to connect dots, you're seeing it. But for those of you like me who can't, can't always connect the dots on your own, I'm not a dot connector. <laughs> I'd like other people to connect dots for, you, for me. So the reason that I'm focusing on meetings is how do you upgrade your career and add value and build excellence and evangelize your excellence as a leader so that you can upgrade your career and command a 200K plus salary? How do you do that? It's through a series of meetings. So if your meetings suck, that's why your career, it, what's why you're struggling right now in your career. But it's hard to do. It's hard to do on your own. So if you need some help with that, which is a sign of strength to say, yeah, I need some help with this, please. I'm not an expert in running meetings. I'm not an expert in the psychology of how do I show up as a world-class leader? How do I train my brain? How do I really condition my brain to shift from tired and anxious and fearful and mad or in, in whatever else negative stuff that you're feeling, how do I shift that to showing up in a way where I can be that world-class leader, where I can be that and add exceptional value to every single meeting that I go to. And plus, you know what? You may be saying, I'm not an expert in running meetings either. I've just been kind of figuring this out on my own, failing forward with everyone else, doing the best I can, but I'm sick of failing forward. I wanna to talk to the experts. That's what we're here for. Not only are we experts in the psychology of leadership and how to harness the power of what you have so that you can show up every single day as a leader you know you're capable of being, but we're also experts in all the things that are related to upgrading your career, including running better meetings. So if you're ready to get the help, book a call with us today, thepeoplestack.com slash book. So we're gonna talk about what's not working with your meetings right now, which is really a question around what's not working in your career right now. Because we could talk about meetings all day if you want to, but at the end of the day, if you ask yourself, well, why do I wanna upgrade my meetings? Why are my meetings making me so frustrated? It's because you want to add value through going to those meetings and you're not. Why do you wanna add value? because you wanna be an awesome leader, you wanna be a world-class leader, and hey, by the way, you wanna get recognized for that as well because it sucks to not get recognized. So we're gonna talk about all of that, what's going on right now, where you wanna go, and if we can see a clear path for you, we're gonna map out a plan for you to get from where you are right now to where you wanna go in your career. And then if you want our expert guidance on how to really walk that path, run, skip, jump, cartwheel that path, however you choose to do it, then we'll talk about all the details of what that would look like to work together. But look, if for whatever reason, either of us decides, you know what, I don't know that I want help right now to do this, but I really want just, I just want that clarity. And I, and I want to be able to see that plan and say, okay, all right, cool. And you don't want to work together and you don't need the expert help yet. That's no problem. It's still going to be the most clarifying call you've ever had about your tech career. That is our solemn promise to you. So go ahead and book a call with us today, thepeoplestack.com slash book. And so the message of the day is own your meetings. Every single meeting that you go to, are you owning it? If not, it's time to start doing that today. Take care, folks. Talk to you again really soon.